We begin with our top story at 530. A group of pediatricians and psychiatrists have declared a state of emergency in child and adolescent mental health. This is many of Rhode Island's youth struggle with the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kim Kalunian. I'm Mike Montecalvo. They're now calling on state leaders and policymakers to do more to help in this crisis. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni spoke to a local school about how they're helping their students. She joins us now live with those details. Anita. Well, Kim and Mike, stress has taken a toll on children and a group of pediatricians say they have witnessed this firsthand at an alarming rate during the pandemic. Now in East Providence, school is addressing this crisis by using more counselors and the use of a therapy dog for their students' needs. Even before the pandemic, there was a rise in youth suicides, depression, and anxiety. That's according to the Rhode Island chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics. That situation has only been pushed into what's now being described as an emergency. And so the pandemic has really made it very clear um, the weaknesses in our system, the access that children have to quality mental health services. Dr. Elizabeth Lang is one of many pediatricians calling on the state to do more to address the needs of Rhode Island's youth. That includes allocating more of the state's federal funding to pay for mental health clinicians and psychiatrists in doctor's offices. We are seeing every pediatrician and family physician in the state are seeing in our offices every single day children of all ages who are struggling um, with anxiety of going back to school, um, depression, they can't be with their friends or play the sports if they wanted to. The Gordon School in East Providence is taking steps to address this mental health crisis, including the use of Denver, a therapy dog. The Black Lab sits with groups of students to read or has one-on-one -on -one sessions with students when they need a break from the academic day. That on top of additional counselors and staff ready if a student is in need. I've been really fortunate to have faculty and to have a consulting psychologist who's been working with us, to have division directors in place who've been doing a lot of the student and family support. The emergency declaration issued Tuesday aims to get lawmakers' attention and find solutions to this issue. Now, when I asked the governor's office about this, they said he submitted a budget to the General Assembly that supports these mental health resources, including outpatient services for Rhode Island's vulnerable youth and a hotline for mental health services, among other support. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. Anita, thank you, and we'll have more mental health coverage for you this Thursday. Between masks, virtual learning, and isolation, many kids are struggling with mental health issues. On Thursday on 12 News at 5, our Shannon Heggie brings us the story of a local nonprofit that's working to change that with a simple text message.